Hi everybody, it is Tuesday, May the 12th of 2015. Thought I would do a garden update. Here is, this is at my uh, porch, at my screen porch. There's the sage and the rosemary my mom gave me. I still have to replant them. And the lemon balm that's been growing for years. My oregano is coming up. And then we put in some Creeping Jenny and some moss. And it's doing real good. I need to get out here and work in it. But just with the neck issues I have, I'm going to have to get me a stool. And um, somehow where I don't have to bend my neck that much because it just hurts too bad. Come around to the side. Okay, you see that hole right there? got a little uh, chipmunk that lives down in there he comes out and plays he is so cute uh, these mums was over in another little flower garden we had they looked like they was about to die last year so I put them over here and they're starting to bloom now, I don't think that we're supposed to let them bloom in the summer so I need to check on that if I need to pick these blooms off or not and there's some what I call monkey grass that was around some big oak trees. I transplanted them. And last year my kids got me this Dusty Miller plant. Look how tall it's gotten. And there's some more that I transplanted. This is our pitiful <laughs> little other. My husband years ago built a little, little fence because that's where our trash cans are. And you see my garden. Uh, this plant right here, several years ago when I planted it, it was no bigger than that, uh, the mums that I showed you over there. It has just spread, and we have wild strawberries that's growing everywhere. I found one the other day, but see how they're all up in there. My nephew cleaned out this area, but it's... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, but the weeds are all coming back. So, really need to get out here and work in it. I've just got to find a way, like I say, where I'm not hurting my neck and protecting my foot. So, uh, here is this little rose bush that was at the front of our house and years ago. My husband transplanted it here. It's doing real good. So remember this rose bush because I'm about to bring up another subject about it. But uh, here's an update on our garden. You know, we had to go buy some more tomatoes. This is the tomato that we found already growing from last year. And it's looking real good. And this one too. This is the other one we found growing. And then uh, went and bought some more tomato plants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna have to learn to can some tomatoes because it's just a sin to let food go to waste. And or that's, that's how I feel. So canning scares me because I'm so afraid I'm not gonna do something right and some bacteria is gonna get in there and it's gonna hurt us or make us sick. And I would not want to make anybody sick. So, I've been watching a lot of Heather, her channel, The Needy Homesteader, and asking her a bunch of questions. And also, uh, Miss Beverly on uh, Our Half Acre Homestead. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. So I'm probably going to start just really bothering these guys and um, asking a lot of questions because we're just going to have to give in and buy a canner. This is our banana pepper plant. Something's eating it up. I don't know what's eating at it. Ooh, there's a hornet flying around me. Please don't sting me. And there's the other pepper plants. Um, looks like I may have to, uh, last year I learned how to quick can, these are jalapenos, the jalapeno plants, uh, that you put in your refrigerator and you can eat them within a, no, 
No, you don't have to put them in the refrigerator until they're open. They don't have to seal or nothing. But um, eat them within a month, and my husband and my neighbor loved them. And these are our squashes and cucumbers. Zucchini. Um, yellow squash, the crookneck yellow squash, and cucumbers, because I want to make some quick refrigerator pickles with them. Now, you see all this? I see the whole flower right here and right there. Uh, we haven't had no storms. The winds haven't been strong or anything. And there's just flower petals all in the garden, just in this area back here where the beans are. Hoe petals, I don't know what's doing that. I don't know if it's squirrels or what. But here's our beans that remember we've had in our freezer for years. I don't know how good they're going to do, but we did come out here and just plant a row of more beans, and I see one that's coming up. Two of them. Oh, see another one. There's two of them. I don't know if you can see them because of my shadow. And look, right there. Is that it? Right there. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. So I don't know if it's birds or squirrels. But anyway. Oh, oh. you don't need to see my messed up foot. Got to have another surgery on it. I'll just go ahead and show you. I have an uh, implant in it that's broke. And I've got bone fragments all in it. And I'm supposed to be wearing a protective boot. So don't tell nobody. But anyway, here's an update on our garden. There he is. There's one of my little squirrel friends. Hello. Hello. I love the squirrels. I love watching them play. And he's looking at me because he wants me to feed him. Uh, the other morning I was sitting out on my porch. Heard a bunch of racket. And two of them had done came up to the step. And so I went and got a piece of bread. When I threw it out, one of them jumped five feet in the air, tried to catch that bread before it landed on the ground. I thought it was funny. And then Sunday, on the way to church, my daughter done came out in the car. We was locking up the doors coming out. And uh, she says, I had to just get in the car and close the door because I thought that squirrel was going to attack me. It walked right on up. <laughs> No, and it wasn't going to attack her. The squirrel thought it was me and wanted some food. There he is. He's peeking around the tree at me. He's peeking, excuse our yard. We just ain't had a lot of time to do any work. He's peeking around at me. There he is. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As soon as they get their food, they'll run up and sit on a tree branch and eat. And the other day, they get mad if I stand out here watching them. They'll throw stuff at you. So the other day, one of them must not have liked the bread that I gave him because he threw up under the tree and threw it back down at me. So I think one day I'll film it. As um, soon as I put the food out, here they come. And then we have beautiful birds that's coming and eating. I told my husband I want to get a bird bath and a bird feeder. So, anyway, see you in a couple of weeks.